Well, hello everyone, and welcome back to week two of Jamie's Domestic Chores. Um, thinking about where to go this week, and uh, pondered a few options, but in the end I thought I'd go for um, a very familiar task. Um, one that uh, you can never leave too long without uh, completing, otherwise um, bad habits set in, and um, people become contemptuous of you, and maybe if they're your partner they might leave you. Um, so it's something that you must do if you want to avoid those things, it's an important task, um, and it's right here in front of us. This is the bedroom, um, and as you can see it looks neat enough, but um, there will come a time for all of us when the uh, bed that we sleep in um, has uh, the need to have its sheets changed um, in order for it to be as fresh as it should be. Uh, and so indeed that is our focus for the second one of these uh, videos, uh, making the bed. Making the bed! So one of the first things to do is to make sure you've got some fresh sheets uh, to put on the bed. Uh, I've just taken these from up from the airing cupboard upstairs so they're nice and warm and, and fresh to go on there. Uh, let's go back into the bedroom then. <laughs> Uh, I'm just going to put these sheets uh, just on the ground for now. Don't quite need them yet. Um, but if, as we do, you have any uh, ornamental pillows, um, th they've got to go. Functional pillows can stay, uh, but the ornamental ones need to be um, removed. So let's just take that down and this one as well. And any any reading material can also go. Okay, so um, we've now clear the area as it were in order to strip the sheets down before we put the new ones on that process itself pretty straightforward not very interesting i won't make you sit through it instead i'll see you after i've done it when i click my fingers right so i've done that um, and i'm now holding another set of sheets the the uh, the dirty sheets in my hand having uh, stripped the bed so you can see we've got the pillows the duvet there and the uh under sheet now uh, I've got to make sure I put these down and be very careful uh, not to mix up these sheets with the fresh sheets, otherwise they could get mixed up later on. Uh, so I've got to find somewhere uh, to put them uh, where they're not going to be easily uh, messed up. So maybe I'll put them just there. Uh, right, okay, so um, the fitting of the undersheet, uh, as, in, as in the fitted sheet, is also uh, not particularly exciting. Uh, so I'll spare you that as well. I'm not going to do another click of the fingers in case it, in case it becomes a bit too repetitive as a motif, but I will see you shortly. All right, bye. Okay, so I've now fitted the uh, sheet onto the bed, uh, which means the next phase is the duvet. Now, um, I don't think you can really see with this light, but this is actually uh, tropical island themed, um, and the rest of the bedding is kind of similarly themed. Look, there's some uh, turtles um, on the uh, duvet cover I'm about to use. Now, uh, there is partly a reason I've chosen this one, and it's because there's a link between that uh, and the two techniques I'm going to talk about with relation to putting the duvet into the duvet cover. Uh, because it all hinges on uh, whether the sheets that you take from your airing cupboard are uh, inside out, as sometimes they are, let's be fair, and or, or, or whether they are, um, you know, not inside out, the right way around, um, and, and able to put on that way. So, um, essentially, if you find your sheets like this, the right way round, not inside out, um, then you can just lay it out like this on the bed. And then this, this, this is what's called the crab method. So you kind of imagine that your, your hands are two sort of pincers there. And what you do is you get a corner, two corners of your duvet in your hands, like that, like your crab hands, and then you just scurry, you just sort of scurry, I don't know, like get, in, get inside. And you just look for the corners, you're going for the, for the corners. Oh no. Uh, yeah, right. Oh, one corner. Got one corner. Right. I think. Oh goodness me. It's usually a lot easier than this. Just uh, panicking a bit. Right. You got your second corner. Right. Now once you put the corners. Once you put the corners in place, uh, you can. You can go round and collect the corners. So you grab one corner there, 
the second corner, and then you just shake, shake it, you just shake it, uh, keep shaking it, and then uh, slowly it'll start to, to fill the shape of the duvet, um, and you can uh, see it's all starting to come together uh, pretty nicely. So that's the first technique, the crab. Um, but it's not the only one. As I said, sometimes the duvet cover is inside out. So let's just rewind and imagine an alternate reality in which that is the case. All right. So if, like this, you have uh, the duvet cover inside out, as you can see along the seam, um, then that may seem, and it may look like a problem to start with, but actually, in many ways, it's a quicker method. Uh, for this one, forget the crab, you can use uh, the jellyfish method. So this time, you have your duvet already laid out on the bed. Uh, you find the corners from the outside. Um, hang on a minute. Like, like so, just like that. And then you take a corner in each hand. You find the end corners like this. Um, and then you get inside, a bit like the crab, but you come in underneath, like that, um, all the way through, and then you uh, you take the edges and you just flip. And it's like the layer of a, of a jellyfish, you know, like when they sort of float in the water, um, it sort of cascades over uh, in layers. And then you start to see, um, start to see it come through really worked very well but what you can do actually what you can do take a corner put it in the next corner or the, the far corner do the same on the fourth corner just push this in um, and then grab the corners again it's all about the corners with making bed all about the corners just pull pull and then you go lovely um, push it out very good um, excellent um, and we're nearly there now. All we've got to do, quickly put on the pillow slips. Um, if there's a label, try and get that on the inside of the slip so that it doesn't show uh, when uh, you're pe peeking through the slips. Uh, perhaps while you're lying down looking into the next pillow. Sometimes here, have got that one in. There we go, first one down. Put that up the top of the bed, they're working good. And then, final one. Let's get it in. Nearly there. And right, let's just put this one on as well. So that we can say we've done the full job. Um, so anyway, thank you for uh, watching again this week. Uh, I've enjoyed this one. Uh, a bit more rigorous than some of the other ones, but I need to do a bit more exercise because, well, you know. Um, so anyway, here we are, last one done. Uh, just put it back on the bed. And as you can see, a perfectly made bed uh, with no mistakes and everything looking fresh um, and good for the, uh, uh, for, the, for, the, for the night's sleep. And then of course, these dirty ones, uh, you can just put them, uh, put them in the, in the wash whenever you get the chance. All right, we'll leave it there. Thank you very much. See you next time.